Hi everyone, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We're going into the final episode of episode 5, which is called Cry Wolf. Can't wait to see how this ends. So we're, we're literally going into a conversation, I believe, with the Crooked Man and seeing how that is going to play out. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get out of that situation, considering we're in a room full of bad guys. I mean, your eyes and, we're injured. and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Nope. And from the preview, it seems like we're going to walk out of it. Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! Oh, is she gonna come back? We're not into burning it? the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to oh, you. Oh, this is like coming back to all of my choices that I made. Oh, God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Hmm. Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. Yep. You must be tired. I'm really nervous. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Except the gun with the silver bullets. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch. Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. That'll do. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. He does have some bullets. He's well, pissed because I beat him up. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that. fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women, I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with Internally. What I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Damn it. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. 
What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a... enough. Maybe I should have I killed his brother. You wouldn't come to this. <laughs> but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. <gasps> was it actually Georgie? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just Was sit it actually Georgie? Because if it now. was, I really wish I had like punched him earlier. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Yeah. Look, the fact is, because I'm not sure Georgia if I believe they were misinterpreted you. one of my instructions. Misinterpreted, and I want to make things right. Maybe it so will. let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this, and then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start this. Don't make any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I yes, think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is I this I am not shit? a pun. You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? Think I give a you fuck think they were, Victoria? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go! This could have gone so well. Yeah, I didn't think it could have gone well at all. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh no. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? I like the hair writing red as well. Well, look at you all fixed up. <laughs> Damn it! I'm a bit outnumbered here. Oh crap. Yeah. I've already fought you once, you twit. Get out of here. Take this! Uh oh. You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. Oh, damn it. Uh, ah! I have no idea which one I grabbed. Or tried to grab. I'd it. like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad no, no, to see your insides no, 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 turn no, 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 no. out. <laughs> oh! Oh, he got him. He got him. That's not It wasn't me. Damn it, Georgie! Oh! Wolf. 
to have it, and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Chase is gonna last, or is this me chasing it? No. Okay. Ah. There they are. Get him. Oh, the cooker man's in that one! Ah, oh, I could have jumped on that one. Bloody hell. Do I want to be hitting her? Stop the car, lady. Take him off! chased after the crooked man then if I jumped on his car. Might as well have a look. I oh, know they're not in here. Yeah, Georgie Forgy's not doing so well. I wonder what would have happened if I jumped on the other car. Would I have realised it was their car, or would I have just sit, looked at the other one and not realised it was their car? Because hmm. I wasn't chasing that car, so there's no reason I would have known it was theirs if I jumped on it, right? So in theory... I would have just looked at Georgie and been like, it's that car, and then followed them. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? Good. Hey, Georgie. I hoped you'd come to your senses. 
Crooked man's the one you want. Yeah, I know. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. You're gonna carry me? Sure. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Vivian. Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they not couldn't a talk few with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Those girls... So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. That's what happens when you Why'd go you do on the bad side. Huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Brian, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. I'm coming for both of you, so it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? No. George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. You're just a pawn. Oh. Doesn't mean oh. I'm not going to arrest you. Oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Dirty don't. It was them or Vivian. Um... So you tell me if free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know yes. that. But did it have to be like this? Yes. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? She's the matron. I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And here we are. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. 
We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. It's... I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To uh -oh, all of them. She's gonna pull a ribbon. Don't Vivian, do it. Wait, I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. Gwen. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Oh. Fuck! No, 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 no! Can I have prevented that from happening? Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Damn it! Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... I wonder if I could have prevented that. I feel like not. Because it didn't really give me like a choice to properly stop it at that point. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Yeah, he's not looking so good. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Yeah, he's going down the witching well. George, you remember Good. that? What, for like the two minutes Old he's left Foundry alive? by the river, all right? <laughs> Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? That's not who I am. No. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's screwed right, anyway. Georgie. Is <laughs> 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 there not a better way to kill him than that? I just a bit like... <laughs> What's the word? Eviscerated? Is that the word? Grim. So I'm guessing that's the choice that will get me the either or fable. <laughs> well, putting them pie squares for business. Maybe he wouldn't have died if I'd left him to die. Perhaps he probably would have. He probably would have. It would just have been a draw it out. Slow death rather than a quick one. Shepherd Metalworks. Is he actually going to be here or not, though? Or are we going to bump into Bloody Mary? Is there anything to look out here? Ah, the limo's here. Late night. Still warm. He's here, all right. Before we go in there, just see if there's anything else out here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's have a quick look at those fables before we go in. Because I keep forgetting to read them. 
Look how many we've got. So many. Uh, we're down here. We've got two new ones. So Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly worrying, wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave her alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke up and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbons not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realised then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. But in Pai, Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands and they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the pudding and pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than be forced through desperation to work at one. How many have we got left? Six entries left. Oh, what was the other one I got? I got, because I went back. Oh yeah, it was the needles in the um, pawn shop. Briar Rose. One of the few fables to find fortune in this world, Briar Rose has even turned her weakness into strength. When her finger was pricked, it not only puts her to sleep, but also those within a certain radiance of her, radius of her slumber. This can be a powerful tool, and is just one of the ways that this sleeping beauty is more than just a pretty face. If only she didn't need a kiss from a prince to wake her up. Yeah, slight handicap, that one, isn't it? Okay. Let's resume. Let's go kick down this door. Georgie, because he was dying anyway. So this is where they've been sending these. Why here? The best safety device is a careful worker. Oh, I don't know what to expect. The lights all came on. Why did the lights on that machine all come on? Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I don't see this going well for us. Well, of course. The big bad wolf. Yes. You used to be something. You used to be nothing. So who has been following us around? Or well, following them around. Is that what Lily looked like when she was glamoured? Oh, we never saw that. So no, he's been following us. And them. So they used they to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Somebody's actually been on that too because there was blood on the floor. Can I take this big mallet with me please? I bet she wouldn't like a hammer to the face. Oh no. Silver. Yeah. She's in a reflective surface somewhere, isn't she? Oh, hello. It's about time you showed up. Sorry to keep you waiting, I, I guess. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. 
I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. I will. <laughs> You're not talking to me, but I will. Now, don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? There's no such thing. We're going to psycho. Especially a psycho with silver bullets. Oh, she is flitty. I regret this decision. I don't want to. I changed my mind. Can we go up the other bit? Then. What if she dropped something on me? I'm just switching. <laughs> oh, she's quick. That was really quick. I, I, I missed it. Okay. Be prepared for stuff like that, then, I guess. Triangle. I'm hitting these and they're not seeming to do anything. Where Why not? are you? Come out and face me. She's like, whoa. She's like a freaking demon. Oh yeah, she's got all the mirror shots on her. Oh. Terrifying. This is what she looks like when she's not glamorous. Like the sounds of the glass. It's making me win. Oh, get off me, you crazy bitch. It's not going up anymore. <laughs> uh. Oh, we're in wolf mode again. Shoot us with a silver bullet again. Oh, it's making me uncomfortable. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of that. Which one's the real one? This is not good. In fact, this is decidedly not good. So 
There are so many of her. How am I meant to kill them all? How do I even know if I can? She's so freaking nimble. Oh, ah! Do my that. <laughs> Not that one. Stab me with that bit of glass. Ooh, ooh. My eye! Did she get me? Am I safe? Did she not get me? was awesome. <sighs> Gotta say, I'm a little bit in love with Big B. <laughs> Hello. Is that the Crooked Man? Bigby? Hi. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good reason. This gun holds six specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Store I wasn't actually sure if I had to print that or not. The woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Why? You sure about that? Yes, I'm quite sure. Why does he want to go to the woodlands? You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about he's that? Because he's after something. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a what about lot your you have wife to answer and for. And I will. It's plural, as I think long it was. as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. 
I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Oh, he's gonna get Georgie. away with my... like... He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Oh, I didn't want to take you back. I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? I say no. Hey. You're not having the friggin' gun that can I'm kill me. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Except that he's been, like, he's got the purse strings to most of the community, hasn't he? So, he's, uh, they're probably all gonna flip and vote him not guilty if that's how it works. And then he's gonna get let out. And I should have killed him. I should have killed him. Why didn't I kill him? I should have done it. Ah! This is so tricky. 